Expectum Legosa, or should I say we are finally getting the official look at the LEGO 2020 Summer uh, Harry Potter sets. My name is Mike, welcome to the Cool Factor, we're gonna go do a deep dive into all of the six sets that will be available in June 2020. Before I do so, I want you guys to check out the links below for my social media, click the like or dislike if you don't agree with me or you maybe don't like what I have to say, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to get notified for all the new videos. All right. Let's get uh, into this, it's really amazing wave of sets. The first available and the smallest set is the 75966 Hogwarts Room of Requirement. It has 193 pieces, will retail for $20 and has 3 minifigures. The thing I like about this one the most are the new Patronuses. I think that is an otter from Hermione and the rabbit from Luna Lovegood. And the minifigures available are Hermione Granger, Luna Lovegood and of course Harry Potter in his adult form. They all have their respective uniforms for Hogwarts, so that's pretty amazing print. And also thing to really consider in this set is that dummy uh, from the training, from the Room of Requirement training that is an actually new print and I would consider this torso and the head to be an exclusive to this set for now and actually sort of like a fourth minifigure if you will. The back of the box shows some functions, you can see how you can take uh, the Dolores Umbridge's, I think, orders for the Hogwarts castle taken down from the wall. I think that's what it says. Those are stickers and all these proclamations are, I think, uh, signed by the High Inquisitor. So that's a very iconic element of the movies and the books. And the figs are also getting those blast elements from the superhero genre of LEGO to uh, target that dummy training uh, figure. And I think the set is meant to show the front of the Room of Requirement, not seen to the unworthy people and the uh, actual door to the Room of Requirement seen by the students of Hogwarts who are allowed to get into the room. I also really like the sticker for that um, announcement board with the um, iconic picture. Uh, I think you can see Snape there, there is uh, Albus Dumbledore and also um, Hagrid in that one. Really good look at those Patronuses, so they're gonna join the back Harry Potter's Patronus from the previous set. And you can probably tell I really like this one by this point, so $20 for a really good set. The next one is the 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridges Encounter with 253 pieces. This one will retail for $30 and we are getting some few exclusive things about this set. First of all, yes, you can see the Giant of Graup. So that kind of reminds me of that Ares build from the older uh, Wonder Woman set and a few other things were made that way. I think the Ant-Man from Marvel is one that comes to mind. Exclusive print for uh, the Grub's face and chest. A really cool build. I think he would look better without the nose if I was really honest about this, but we'll see how it goes. It actually is very unique looking big fig. We have Dolores Umbridge in her, I think, new print with a cat pin. Uh, to it. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. There is like uh, this iconic pin of her and good outfit to match her appearance in the movies. But yeah, probably the biggest thing that you guys are excited about in this set are the centaurs, the new mold for the half body of a horse that is, um, it's possible to attach a minifigure torso to it. The centaurs have new exclusive prints, they can carry a quiver and a bow, so that's something that will be really uh, working great in that set and many people will like the addition of two in this one. And I think a friend of mine even told me that those would be great for some D&D games in the future as sort of a figures to use on the tabletop. All in all, not including Graup, we have five characters available in this set. Two centaurs, Dolores Umbridge, Hermione Granger, and Harry Potter. Not much else to say here, Graup is the biggest highlight of this set, of course, along with the centaurs, but the build itself does open up, that tree from the Forbidden Forest does open up, and we do have some elements hidden inside the tree and I think that is what um, our gang used to encounter Graup and actually fit him and uh, you know become friends with him. I think that's what happened in the actual books. Moving up in size we have 759684 Privet Drive, the Dursley's family home and one of the most iconic elements from the Harry Potter lore. That's basically where it all started and uh, that's a really cool set to have in LEGO as well. Finally they're making this iconic scene. So we have an updated Fort Anglia, uh, the first one came in the Whomping Willow, so this one is a bit slightly updated I think, uh, might have some stickers on it, but looks still very good. As you can see we can spot the new Hedwig with uh, open wings, that design will also come in that small poly bag that was announced a few days ago, so you actually get Harry Potter and Hedwig in a very small poly bag, so that is not the smallest set of course to get it. The escape scene as Harry Potter is uh, breaking its way 
to Hogwarts. And I think what fans will like a lot is that Dobby is included in this uh, section. We also have that cake or sandwich. I don't remember what it was, but it's actually levitating, as you will see in another picture. And finally, the minifigures of Vernon, Petunia and Dudley Dursley. So the entire Dursley family in one set. And I think that's one of the most exciting parts about this one. We have the letters that Harry was hiding from Hogwarts from uh, Uncle uh, Vernon. We have his little um, room or hiding place under the stairs that it all began in. He has his um, tools there as well, so I, I was wondering if that's gonna be included in this set. It is, it's basically a two-story set with little Harry Potter's bedroom, Dobby is there too. I think those are actually letters from James Potter, like please remind me I've read those books like six years ago, I swear, so they were hiding in the chimney as well, and I think that's the scene from the uh, from the movies and books, and also there's a function, so you're gonna insert the letters from the back of the build, use that little knob, and they will just, um, well, shoot off the chimney that is also resembling a very iconic scene. A closer look at this set, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that verbally, but it's a $70 set, so it, uh, it's quite a price for this one, but you will get a lot of pieces. You can see all the minifigures, the floating um, cake or sandwich, I'm not sure, I think that was a cake, and everything that's included in the set. Very good, and overall, a good display build, if I, if I may. Moving up a notch, a $100 Hogwarts Astronomy Tower with 971 pieces, Another addition to that buildable Hogwarts of sorts uh, com comprising from the playsets. Um, the previous ones were already uh, launched in previous waves, but this one will join just fine with them. A total of 8 minifigs, great selection, Lavender Brown, Luna Lovegood, Neville Longbottom, Draco Malfoy, Horace Slughorn, Ron Weasley, Hermione and Harry in their respective outfits. A lot of them being exclusive, I'm guessing at this point, so this what will be. This set might be actually a fan favorite. I think there's another depiction of the Yule Ball, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I think that was the, the main celebration in Hogwarts Castle. We have a fondue fountain with, well, the poop pieces from the collectible minifigures. I'm sorry, I can't unsee it after seeing this piece used as a dog poop in one of the collectible minifigures from series 19, I believe. But this time around, it's basically a piece of chocolate on a cupcake and next to the fondue fountain. Oh, uh, I mean, uh. <laughs> on top of that, the build itself gets wonderful lanterns. I love those red pieces here. We get the greenhouse with the mandrakes growing there. Um, a, a lot of cool details overall and pretty solid interior with elements of the a dormitory and you can tell that is the Ravenclaw dormitory because it was located in the astronomy tower and we actually have Ravenclaw emblems on the second floor and I really love that piece for the um, astronomy um, uh, tower this this ring here this golden ring with the uh, globe it's really looking cool and we have the telescope at the very top where Draco Malfoy is using Really stunning looking set, it's gonna be a fan favorite for sure, but wait, there are two more sets that we can talk about in this video, and those are exclusive, exclusives to their respective retailers. By the way, I just love how Draco is like, hehehe, <laughs> I'm making a plot to defeat Harry Potter. Uh, he doesn't sound like that, but it's looking funny in this set, come on, come on, it's funny. And we're moving to the exclusives, the 75979 Hedwig display element, which is great because it's gonna fit, she's gonna fit right here, maybe upper or lower next to my Star Wars helmets. Thank you so much, Lego. This one is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so if you have those stores in the US, you're lucky, you can get them. I'm not sure how this set will be distributed in the other parts of the world, maybe Barnes & Noble has locations there, but as far as we know, as we know according to the press release, this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive. 630 pieces for uh, $40, so not too bad, not too shabby, and we're getting first, of course, the build of the Hedwig, I'm gonna take a look at it in a second, but we get also Harry in his Quidditch outfit with actual blue glow, so he's gonna be exclusive for this set for sure. Short legs and the Hedwig with uh, wide open wings is also available in this set, so great addition on top of the build itself. And I mean, just look at this, looks beautiful, I think they captured the iconic all pretty well. And yes, it does have the flapping wings function, the little lever at the bottom has some cogs as a mechanism right here, and you can see by this blurry motion, it will actually flap its wings while standing on the stand. So something everybody would expect from such set, and yes, it's there. You can see the sizing of the set, 6.7 inches high and 7.8 inches uh, long uh, uh, from the head to the tail feathers. So I think that is not too small. It's actually a pretty sizable set. Love the build for the eyes, love the letter it's holding. Uh, I'm not sure if those are stickers. I think those are actually stickers. You can see the little edges there, but still um, it matches the, you know, the purpose of our beloved Hedwig all 
pretty well and I think they captured her majestic appearance the best way possible. And last but not the least, the Target exclusive. You're gonna have to go to Target to get actually this one or order through Target.com. 75980 Attack on the Burrow, the biggest of the bunch, 1047 pieces. And finally, we're getting the Weasley family home from a very specific scene when they were defending the household from the attack of the Death Eaters. Eight minifigures included, same as in the Astronomy Tower, we have Bellatrix Lestrange, a Fenrir Greyback, I think for the first time, maybe not sure, a Nymphadora Tongs, I think she's for the first time appearing in a LEGO set, Arthur, Molly, Ron and Ginny Weasley, only the brothers are missing at this point, and Harry Potter in this set. And my god, what a wonderful vertical build it is! The interior is full of details, we have the full uh, dining room, of the Weasley family. Uh, actually, it's a bit asymmetrical, so you go to the, up to the bathroom and all this stuff. And here's the function I like the most. The set is crooked on purpose because, you know, their house is a bit rackety, sort of like a, I don't know, Baba Yaga house, if you will. And so it's a bit bending, like the bending tower of Pisa, I guess. But it has actual, actual joints to make it happen, so it, it looks like it's about to fall over. Um, we have the bedrooms on the top, a lot of floors. Uh, there is the Molly Weasley cleaning on the top and I think that's Ron's bedroom as well. So many good things and there's that scene when Harry walks through the flames to get to the Death Eaters and defend the household. We also have the teleportation chimney. There was a name on it in the of it in the Harry Potter book, so please remind me what name was that was like a blip network or blip and blip, flip and blip, I don't remember. So they were actually green flames, you can see this is portrayed in the set very well. And the function actually switches it back to the normal fireplace that is not functioning as a teleportation device for the wizard network. The set also comes with beautiful windows, those are probably stickers at this point. The cool thing about those windows is uh, I think they're like faded or frosted on purpose. If so, that might be a new type of window in LEGO or maybe those are just bricks. We're gonna have to find out but these look like they're frosted in some way or another. And there's the pig then and we actually get the pig. Um, that first appeared, I think, in the um, Pirates of the Barracuda Bay idea set just a few uh, moments ago. Absolutely wonderfully looking set and I'm not sure if this will be the fan favorite or the Astronomy Tower, but they will compete with each other for sure. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. Man, that was long, but I really wanted to take a deep dive into these sets. These are absolutely stunning, amazing and so on. I think LEGO, ever since they recovered, they resurrected the Harry Potter line um, like two or three waves ago. It is killing it. Fan favorites for sure, everybody's gonna be getting a ton of these sets. I'm gonna try to land my hands on each and every one of them, especially that Hedwig, because she's gonna look just great in my display. But all of these are just great lookers, great play sets, a lot of additional minifigures to the Harry Potter collection of each and every one of you. Yeah, I can't wait, and not that far away, they're coming uh, most likely June 1st. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say. Leave a like or dislike if you didn't enjoy it, leave a subscribe, leave a bell button, check out my links to social media and my Patreon in the links below, and I hope to see you in the next coverage of LEGO news or stream or review, whatever I do on this channel. I hope you enjoy it, it was Mike, and I'll see you next time on The Cool Factor. Bye!